For this week's project, we are going to learn about the artist Alma Woodsy Thomas. Alma Woodsy Thomas is famous for doing abstract paintings that focus primarily on color and rhythm. So let's check out some of her work. Alma Woodsy Thomas was born in rural Georgia in the late 19th century. As a young girl, she moved to Washington, D.C., the city where she would spend the rest of her life as an artist and a teacher, creating famous paintings just like these ones with lots of color and abstract shapes. I'm going to create my project using watercolor paint. So what I'll need is a paintbrush, a piece of paper, a set of watercolor paint, and some water. If you have a different kind of paint, you're more than welcome to use that paint. If you don't have any paint at all, all at home, it doesn't matter. No big deal. Remember, working at home, we need to be creative. So crayons will work just great. All right, let's get started. All right, so starting your project, regardless of what you're going to use to create your project today, whether it's crayons or paint or markers or, or oil pastels or whatever you, you have at home, the process is going to be the same. The way you're going to start is you're going to select any color you want, and you are going to start with that color by painting or drawing a circle in the middle of your paper. So since I'm using watercolor paint, the color I'm going to create is going to change depending on the amount of water that I use. So the more water I use, the lighter the color. The less water, the, the darker the color. So I start by painting my circle in the middle. I did the color blue. So then what you're going to do is next you're going to go to your next color. I'm going to do mine kind of like a rainbow. So I'm going to go to a color that is like blue. So the next color that I'm going to go to is I'm going to go to purple. So I'm going to put some purple on my brush. And the way you're going to do the next row is you're going to do little rectangle shape kind of, kind of shapes. So it's going to look almost like tiles. So you do just some little rectangle shapes going around it. You're going to have to put more paint on your brush, I'm sure, while you're doing this. And you'll keep going around the outside of that first shape that you did. Um, it can touch that color, or you could leave a little bit of white in between. It doesn't really matter. It depends on how you want it to look. All right? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my next color. So I'm going to think about what color goes next to purple. I already did blue. Now I'm going to go to red. So I'm going to put some red around the next row. So I'm going to put some red. Same thing. I'm doing little kind of shapes that aren't connected. It's not one big circle. They're, they're broken up in between. And you can make them as big or as skinny as you want, as light or as dark as you want. It's really up to you. You guys are the artists, so you're going to create it the way you want it to look. All right, so you don't, yours does not have to look just like mine, because mine does not look like Alma Woodsy Thomas's either. It's my own creation. It's going to be a little bit different. All right, then you can go to your next color. So I think after red, I'm going to go to orange. I'm going to go to orange next. And if you want to start making your shapes bigger, you definitely could do that, or you could leave them the same shape, same size. It doesn't really matter. It's totally up to you. All right. Now, since mine are watercolor paint, I'm using watercolor paint to create mine, um, it's starting to pool in some spots. You see how there's like some parts of my shapes that have a lot more paint than others? That's because the water is kind of settling there. That's totally fine if that happens. It'll actually give your painting a really cool quality once it's done. It'll look really unique, like a real painting. All right, so go, keep going around with your next color. And what you're going to do is you're going to continue to do this until you've covered the whole page. So if you want to change your pattern or change the way it looks, that's fine. I'm going to keep doing mine almost in a rainbow pattern where I go to colors that are like the next color. And then eventually I'll start over with that first color again. So I'll go right back to blue. Okay? So go ahead. Keep adding paint all the way around until you cover your whole paper. So here's a look at my finished picture. Remember, I use paint. It's totally fine if you don't use paint. It would look just as awesome, maybe even better, using something else. Send me a picture when you guys are done. I can't wait to see what you guys create.